This is the Brompton damper. Right now we're going to explain how you change your stock damper with our bike fan damper. You're going to need a number 10 wrench. The assembly is very easy, but there are some things you need to keep in mind. First of all, how to change the original with the bike fan damper. You start by taking apart the damper. You need to keep the original bolts and screws. Very important. The bike fan spring damper comes with two polyurethane dampers. One is the soft one. It is very soft. You can squeeze it with your thumb. And the other one has a white dot in it. It is very hard. If your weight is over 80 kilograms, please use the hard PU damper. If you are underneath 80 kilograms, you can use the soft PU damper. Okay, so now we proceed with the assembly. First of all, we begin with the top of the damper. It is placed like so. Following, there is a small spacer placed like so. Then, you can choose between the hard and the soft PU damper. In this case, we're going to use the soft one. Later, you proceed to place the spring in place. And at the very end, we have the end cap. Keep in mind that this side faces the spring and this faces the frame. So it should look just like this. Once in place, we have this plastic spacer and this bolt over here. We first position the plastic spacer and then the bolt. Last but not least, we have to secure the shock in place. So, we just tighten like so. There is one thing that you need to keep in mind. The thread of the screw should, should be seen like this. But you have to tighten until the thread is just at the same level as the knob. Like so. One thing that you need to, to take into consideration is the first end of the shock. You need to align it with the clamp of the frame. So sometimes it will, you have to align the spacers. But once everything is in place, you have successfully installed your new shock.